At the start of the film, we see the main character, a girl named Grace. She was going somewhere on a way at this time. Then a nun sister comes in front of her and puts a gun on her, which Grace started looking at very carefully. Before that, the nun shoots Grace. The scene gets cut here. Now we are shown a scene from a while ago, where Grace was in the hospital. It is found that she is an eye specialist. A patient, an old woman, comes to her to get her eyes treated, and it was not in Grace's control to cure the problem with her eyes. That's why she advises that either you get your treatment from somewhere else, or get it done from my senior doctor. Hearing this, the patient and her husband leave from there. At night Grace, who was sitting at her house and working, suddenly felt strange. There is a mess in the lights of the house. As if all the lights are on and off, they turn off completely. Seeing this Grace feels like there is someone else in the house except me. As she looked in the mirror that day, she saw a nun behind her. As soon as she turned around and saw, she disappeared the next moment. Seeing this Grace gets very scared. Now the detective's phone rings, and he tells Grace that I am going to tell you very sad news. In a convent, your brother's body was found. The convent is said to be the place where nuns, sisters, and fathers live. He says, but it has not been confirmed yet, that he lost his life or was killed. After hearing this news Grace is completely broken. She becomes sad, but she does not understand how my brother's body was brought to the convent. How did his death happen, which later brought him there? Now she went straight to meet the detective, where her brother's body was being medically checked. That's why the detective took her to the convent, where the nun came to meet Grace. And she gives her the shocking information that the devil has taken your brother under his control. As soon as he came under his control, he also killed the superior father. After which, your brother took his own life to stop that devil. And I know all this because I have thoughts about the facts. And I have seen all these things in my thoughts. Hearing this Grace was very surprised. But she could not believe these things. All these things were useless. According to her, she did not believe in God or the devil. After which, the detective brings her to her brother's body. She was looking at the body, and then she felt something strange behind her. When she turned around and saw it, it was her brother's soul. He was telling her to go away. Because this place is very dangerous. Hearing this, she was very scared. It had such a deep effect on her mind that she fell there and fainted. After a while, when Grace regained consciousness, there was a father standing in front of her, whose name was Meg. And he came to ask Grace about the deaths of her brother and her superior father. He asks Grace, has your family found out that your brother has died? To which Grace replied that there is no one in my family except my dad. But he is not here either. He is accused of killing my mother. Because of this, he is imprisoned in jail. Hearing this Meg was very surprised. After a while Grace thought of a vision. She sees some people who were wearing masks on their faces. And they were doing ritual magic. Now, a lot of warriors have started coming here. Seeing whom all the ritualists start running away from the fear. And with this, Grace comes out of the vision. She now goes straight to the place where she found her brother's body. Which was a church built on top of a mountain. Which was half broken Grace was looking at the church very carefully. She is getting a vision again. A lot of nuns were killing themselves in the water and taking their lives. Seeing this Grace was very scared. And once again, she faints. Now, when her eyes are opened, she finds herself in the convent. The other nuns had also made her wear clothes like theirs. Grace now gets up and comes to the other nuns from there. She says this to the superior nun. My brother was injured a lot before his death. What happened to him? Hearing this, the superior nun was very surprised. She asks. How do you know this? Whereas before his death, no one had even seen your brother. Grace also does not have any answers to this. So, ignoring this, she sits there. Now Father Meg brings Grace to the church on that mountain. And I started telling them what these people believe. That dangerous devil used to live here. Who took the lives of a lot of nuns here. But these things are only written in books. What is reality? No one knows Grace sees a stone lying there. On which there was a snake mark on a cross. Now Meg tells her that there is also another way for nuns to die than the devil, if a nun commits a sin, for which she regrets a lot. Then, to wash away that sin, she jumps into the water from this church and takes her life. Hearing this grace was blown up. After a while Meg takes her to a place, where he gives all the things related to his brother to grace. That is, his belongings, etc. In which there was also a diary. By opening it grace starts reading. This diary was written in a very strange language. But Grace somehow tries to read and understand this. From the letter, we learn that Grace is the stepsister of her brother. Her stepbrother's parents adopted her. 
Grace has such powers that she can see visions. Along with this, we see the past. One day Grace's dad was going somewhere by plane. Later, it was found that he had died. From this Grace was quite broken. She was quite sad and missed her dad. She cried and prayed for her dad's return. The surprising thing was that her prayer was fulfilled. Her dad returned to reality. Seeing him Grace's happiness has no place. We noticed that after her prayer, strange and bad things began to happen to Grace. It seemed as if the devil had listened to her prayer. To fulfill it, he now needs something in return from Grace. Grace has now returned from the past. In the present scene Grace sees outside the window. A nun was going somewhere, quite afraid. Grace started to chase her. Suddenly, the nun cuts her veins with a knife. Her blood flows, and she dies there. The next moment, the nun was absolutely fine. Her veins were fine, and there was no blood flowing. Because it was Grace's vision of cutting veins. Seeing this Grace was quite shocked. The detective comes to the superior nun and begins to question her. Grace's brother's dead body was brought here. Who has cleaned his blood before he comes to her? Because Grace is asking if her brother has taken his life by jumping from the roof. Why is there no mud on his body? Or why is there no such mark? And how was his body quite clear? On this, the superior nun says that I have cleaned him, so he could have a good funeral. The superior nun says the same thing to the detective. The devil has controlled Grace's brother first. Then he made him kill his father. Now, the devil can't take the life of anyone else. That's why Grace's brother has taken his life by jumping from the roof. Just like Grace, the detective also doesn't believe. Once again, we see a scene from the past. Grace's dad has returned, but his behavior and attitude have changed. Once he believed in God, but now his belief has gone away. Along with this, he used to keep his children and wife in cages. One day, when his wife tried to run from the cage Grace's dad chases her and kills her. After coming home, he captured his children because he wanted to kill them. At the right time, police came and arrested him. Then he was imprisoned on the charge of killing his wife. Later, the scene again comes to the present Grace comes to Meg and tells him. When our mother passed away and our father was arrested, I and my brother were left alone in this world. This church of the mountain has tried to adopt us. For this reason, my brother might come here. Otherwise, he never comes. Listening to this Meg says, but the superior nun has told me something else. She said that your brother came to take something special from the church. Its name is Renick. But when an earthquake hit that mountain, because the half church was broken, the Renick had fallen into the water. It is said that a thing is used to possess, that is, to control a devil, which people want to misuse. We see a scene from the past where a father in the church and a nun came to adopt Grace's brother. When both of them were handed over to the nun and the father, they take them with them after making them sit in the car. On the way, the father has put off Grace's brother from the car. He just kept on moving, only with Grace. On the way, the father holds Grace as well. He wants to make her faint. During this, he didn't pay attention to where the truck was coming from. The car was hit hard by the truck. They had a very big accident. In the present, Grace begins to get information about that special thing. She was in the convent when she began to hear strange voices from the basement. So she goes there to check. As she puts her hand on the wooden piece placed there, she begins to have visions. In which she sees the superior father whom Grace's brother killed, he, the superior nun, and the other nuns together try to kill her brother after putting him under the wood. Because there was a coffin under the wood. They were doing this so they could find out about relic from her brother. So her brother killed the superior father to save his life. Seeing this Grace came out of this vision. Also Grace was quite worried. Later, a nun came who was holding a knife in her hands because she came to kill Grace. According to her Grace is a devil, she has to die. As she took the knife and began to kill Grace, an invisible power held the nun and stopped her hands. The power saved Grace by doing this. Later, that power killed the nun Grace goes directly to jail to meet her dad so she can tell him what happened to her brother. When she was talking to her dad, he began to behave strangely. He says I'm not your dad. Your dad has died a long time ago. I'm actually a devil whom you've called from hell by the prayer. Yes, in reality, I've listened to your plea, and there is a devil inside you. Now, if you want, you can bring your brother back with your evil powers. Wherever you go, the devil inside you will never leave you. Hearing this Grace was astonished. The detective tries to get information about Grace from the superior nun. The superior nun reveals here that Relic isn't anything but a human, that there is no one else but Grace. Actually, her brother came to take her. Now Grace also knows this. But now, she doesn't remember anything. There is a devil inside her that has always possessed her. So she forgets things. 
Hearing about the devil, the detective was quite shocked, but he doesn't believe it. On the other side, when Grace comes to the church, the nun there tells Grace that the superior nun has told me everything. You're responsible for all the deaths happening here. If I'm killed, then you're responsible for this. Because you're not a human but a big and dangerous devil. Now, another nun comes and sees Grace's devil. She was quite afraid that she would break her eyes. Now, she came here to take revenge on Grace by killing her. She has a knife in her hands, and as she comes to attack, the devil inside Grace holds her hand and keeps her stopped to save Grace's life. He throws the nun, and she dies. Seeing this, the other nun runs. She holds the knife and tries to kill her by cutting her veins. The thing that Grace already saw in her vision. At that time, the nun was saved, but she couldn't survive now. Grace wanted to make her stop, but she took her life by cutting her veins. Grace directly came to Meg and told him, I know I am responsible for all the evil doing things here. So I want you to help me get rid of this devil. Now Meg takes Grace to a place where the language of the diary is written everywhere. Now, he begins to tell Grace about her reality. Who is she? Now, we see the scene where the masked men are having a ritual. As warriors came there, they ran out of fear. Now, everyone was successful in running but a girl was captured by the warriors. They took the girl with them and imprisoned her in the church. The girl was relic, that is Grace. She was alive for hundreds of years in this girl's form. She was not a human but a devil. The ritualists were worshipping her. They also believed in the devil. When the church was broken because of an earthquake, Grace ran from there. Later, she was adopted. Now, the scene comes to the present Meg thought to kill Grace. Before he could attack Grace's devil attacked him. He throws a sharp weapon at Meg, which pierces his neck. From this Meg died. Seeing this Grace felt so bad. She felt sad, although there was a devil inside her. Somehow, there was something good inside her. She realized that she was a big sinner. Because of my evil powers, many innocent people have died. Now, to vanquish her sins, she goes to the church and jumps. So the devil also dies as soon as she dies. So all of her sins could go. And when she was falling, we're informed here that whenever Grace feels that someone is around her, and whenever her life is saved from every danger, that was no one else but her devil or the devilish powers. That saved her from every danger. In her childhood, when the nun and the father were taking her into the car, he deliberately caused an accident. He also killed all the nuns who didn't jump by themselves, Meg was also killed because of her Devi. Now, we learn that Grace's brother took his own life. He has saved Grace to save her life. The superior nun and the other nuns beat him and made him confess about where she was. Because of this, her brother took his life. When her brother was falling down Grace was there, but no one could see her because of her evil powers. The next day, the detective inquires about Grace from the other officers. But no one finds her dead body. That is why the detective questions the superior nun about this. On this, she says that Grace is not dead because the devilish powers inside her don't let her die. They save her every time. In the next scene, we see the superior nun. When she was going, she saw Grace somewhere. She comes and points her gun at her. This is the same scene from the beginning of the scene. When she begins to shoot, a big car hits the nun because of Grace's devil's powers, from which she dies horribly. That is, the devil has saved her life this time, as always, and will always protect her. Now, Grace's voice tells us that once my brother told her that I have a guardian angel with me, that will always protect me. That is the devil. I didn't believe this earlier. But when he saved my life for the first time, I was pretty sure since then that it would always protect me from every danger. And I will keep on fulfilling his purpose, which is to spread destruction in the world. It means it was quite difficult to kill Grace. To kill her and the devils like her, the same devilish powers are required. With this horrible ending, the film ends here.